Sleep is something that is extremely important. You can die faster from sleep deprivation than from starvation. But does the amount of sleep that you get really matter? Or are there some sort of ways that we can trick our brain into thinking that we got more sleep and perform just as well? Well, today we're gonna try to figure that out by doing an experiment. The experiment will be split up into four different nights. So the first night, I'm gonna get nine hours of sleep. The second night, I'm going to get five hours of sleep. The third night, I'm going to get five hours of sleep, but exercise in the morning. And the fourth and final night, I will be getting five hours of sleep, but then consuming caffeine. Each and every night of the experiment will have a day in between, so there's no residual tiredness going on. Every single morning when I wake up, I will be performing two tests. So the first test is a memory test, and this simply tests your short-term memory. The second test will test your problem-solving abilities and how well your brain can function on tasks that require thinking. So now, let's get to the actual experiment. This is night one, and night one is the control night, so I'm going to be getting around nine hours hours of sleep, which is roughly the amount of sleep that I need. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, it's time to take the test. So the whole idea is to take the shapes and see if the fourth panel matches the same rule. So let's go. Okay, same, same, same. Big, small, big, small, true. Getting the hang of this now. Not too bad. I got, I got 35. Uh, I don't really know what that means. I don't know. We'll see how how my other scores compare. It's time to take the memory test now. Okay, so <clears throat> now I'm taking the memory test. And the memory test, uh, what you do is you have to remember the digits. And if you remember the digits correctly, then you get one more digit added on. So let's see how this goes. Two eight one two eight one five two eight one five six digits. Oh, let's get up there. Two four two four three two four three seven two four three seven one zero two four three seven one zero. Yes. Oh God, seven digits. Seven eight seven eight five seven eight five six seven eight five six zero three seven eight five zero six three. Seven six five zero six three oh zero ah oh no not eight digits I'm not ready for this ah okay my score is seven so we'll see how that compares to the other days so it's two o'clock in the morning we get up at seven o'clock in the morning for a total of five hours of sleep. Okay, so I've had to start the test. I've been up for about five minutes. I'm really not that tired, surprisingly. I mean, I don't feel 100% awake, but I'm pretty good. Okay, let's see how the test goes. Okay, so now I am taking the first test. It is the object objective reasoning test. So let's see how it goes. So what I'm kind of feeling is that like I'm able to answer, you know, that probably the same accuracy as before, just not as fast. Oh, I guess I was wrong. What? Oh god, I scored 11. So, good morning. It's the third day. I just got five hours of sleep. It's about five o'clock in the morning. It's about, about midnight. I'm gonna go exercise uh, to try to wake up. So, let's go for a run. Ready to go for a run, buddy? I've been running with three and four. Probably about a mile, maybe a little bit more. And I'm feeling really awake. And this one should be true. Yeah, I scored 31. So now it's time for the memory. So let's start this and see how it goes. Yes, okay, on to eight. I don't think I've gotten eight before. One zero one zero seven one zero seven nine one zero seven nine six two eight four. Whoa, God! One seven zero eight two nine four. Oh, got one more zero. Ah, uh, well, uh, I scored seven. Good morning. So it is uh, day four. I just got five hours of sleep. Um, so I'm gonna get some caffeine. And we're gonna do an experiment. Each cup of green tea has around 35 milligrams of caffeine. So I'm gonna drink three cups. Uh, it was 
not as ready to get to chug three full cups of tea. I just threw up. I'm not feeling very good, but mentally, I'm doing pretty good, so I think I'm going to continue. You always feel better after you throw up, you know? Okay, start. Three, two, one. This one's like it's true. This is like it's true. Wow, 67? Whoa, that's pretty good compared to 35, I think was my best so far. Okay, so now let's hop on the memory test. Oh, there's one more, zero. Ah, it's only seven to seven to eight, nine, three, eight, nine. Six. Okay, so it's currently about 11.30, uh, and I'm supposed to be in my fifth period class. Don't tell anyone. While I may have gotten the highest score ever this morning, I crashed, and I feel really tired now. So now the experiment is over, and the results are in. Overwhelmingly, the five hours of sleep with caffeine won. It scored a 67 on the cognitive test, which is double the score of the full night's rest. However, I think it might be slightly flawed. First of all, the fourth night was the final night of the experiment. And while the questions were different for every single test, I felt like I may have gotten used to taking that test, and that may have given me a little bit of an advantage. In addition to this, I also think I had an element of luck. On a lot of them, I have guessed, and I got most of the ones that I guessed right. Now, this is not to say that the caffeine didn't help. I bet if I tried more trials with more people and mixed up the order, I'm sure that caffeine would have a lower score, but it would still be higher than nine hours of sleep. So do you think my advice would be to go out, get as little sleep as possible, and then just drink a bunch of coffee or tea or Red Bull or Mountain Dew? But that's not what I'm gonna say. So while caffeine may have scored the highest, there are still some obvious drawbacks. I mean, I did end up puking after all. So in addition to large amounts of tea not being very good for your stomach, over time, caffeine can become addictive and you can create a tolerance for caffeine. So caffeine isn't really the best long-term solution. Also, one of the major drawbacks with caffeine was that you have the so-called caffeine crash. As you saw halfway through the day after I got five hours of sleep with caffeine, I just felt so tired. I probably felt just as tired or maybe even more tired than when I just got five hours of rest. So my final advice for you is to get as much sleep as you possibly can. And if you need to, you can take in some extra caffeine or exercise to help give you a little bit of a boost throughout the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, please leave a like or even subscribe. Thanks.